Hey y'all, and well, it's been a year since Borderline Forever released, so I would like to talk about Scott's Nintendo Tumor. So Borderline Forever was a project made by Scott the Waz on May 23rd, 2021, which... Wow, it's been a year. I guess I'm getting old. Ow, my back! Ow, my back! So Scott Wozniak is a YouTuber that reviews games or pop culture from video games and the sort. He mostly reviews Nintendo games, but he's not scared to talk about Xbox and PlayStation. So in 2020, he wanted to start a project for his 200th episode on Scott the Woz. Fun fact, he actually has a blue border and a generic white guy with glasses. His project for the 200th episode would be about the blue border from all Scott the Waz episodes, which then would be called Borderline Forever. Well, it's time to review this episode, but we forgot one more thing. Okay. Now we should be safe. We then see an opening shot of the border coming into the earthly earth. Then the border has cool CGI effects going on with the text of people in the video. Then finally, the border goes into the full screen like it should. We then see Scott taking a VHS and putting it in a VCR. Now, this is the how to talk about video game section, which I really liked a lot whenever I first saw this. The way he talks to us and to the other YouTubers felt like Scott was saying to us, thank you for making this my dream, in a really subtle way. Felt like he really cared about us, and this section alone made us feel justified as a fan. Anyway, the next shot opens on the sun. This is a sign! So we move on over to the stupid Nintendo games portion, which... Wow. Whenever it was premiering, I was just in absolute disbelief on what was going on. Look at this part where there's a whole lot of Nintendo games playing in the background. I felt like I was in a fever dream on what was going on. I was like, yes, this isn't low effort. The review part is the part where you take a break and listen to his rantings about Nintendo games. That was when I was saying, where's the 200th sh my favorite joke in Borderline Forever is the game show games joke. He just thinks way too literally in the game show games. What makes the soap moist? Name something people start but never finish. Me. Uh, War? Uh, Books of Faith. See, that's the thing about this episode. He re references all of his other Scott the Waz episodes, which, if I were to count, would be about over 500, which is a lot of references. After the review portion, Scott then notices the border and has a whole mental breakdown about it and then goes to therapy where Geriatrics is there. Geriatrics then says, As somebody with a foot fetish would say, yeah! So they go into Mushroom Gorge, uh, 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 I'm sorry, I mean, his bedroom, and go find out what to do with the border. Scott mentions to Jerry to look in his head. Jerry then hits Scott with the frying pan. Holy shit, is that a motherfucking Scott the Waz reference? We go into the song Closing In. This song is by far the best song in the whole Scott the Waz universe. It shows the trials and tribulations of doing a review series every single week. I can fully relate to this. Just trying to make a weekly series is hard. Which is why I made it two weeks. And it won if I'm feeling lucky that day. This song made me notice that, oh yeah, this is my favorite magnum opus. This song, this segment I've always liked, but not a ton. It's funny and unique, but yet similar to other Scott the Waz episodes. But the difference is it's filled with references, which makes it better hands down. My favorite part is the talk show host in the news part, which then leads me to... This is very underrated of me to say, but I love this song better than the other Scott the Waz songs, actually. I just love marching band type songs, honestly. When I saw this, I was like, yep, this is going in my playlist. But this song is about how Scott would like his friends to join into his fight in space against the border. That's why it's named Might As Well. Might As Well is an amazing song and you should listen to it. The fight scene is one of the reasons why Borderline Forever was such a success. I was burned out by this time in the video, but I was still so happy to see this. It felt like a classic fight scene from all the Scott the Waz videos. This is when the climax starts to end. The border tries to fight Scott and his friends, but ends up failing due to Madden 08. This episode is when I felt complete with Scott the Waz. I am glad to be a fan, and so many others are. Thanks, Scott. So, 
In conclusion, I love this episode. Scott shows that YouTube isn't always for the money. It's mostly for the fun of it. As he put it, YouTube is supposed to be an art, not a job. Anyway, let me get this border off.